All right, let's take a look. 18th century historian Edward Gibbon thought the only character defect of the Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius was his mild temperament. Though the emperor was widely considered virtuous, his overly permissive nature led him to blank the vices of those who surrounded him. This is kind of a weird sentence. Um, I'm trying to guess what's going to be in there. So there is a little bit of a contrast. So the word though is helping me out there. Though the emperor was widely considered virtuous, so that's good. Uh, his overly permissive nature led him to blank the bad, right? The vices of those who surrounded him. Uh, the, the word that I'm really focused on is permissive. So permissive means that you allow other people to get away with stuff, that you allow them to do things. So I'm going to really just steal that word. This permissive nature led him to permit the vices of those who surrounded him, uh, to allow them basically. Uh, so I would even say that a good guess, uh, would be something like tolerate, but I look, I don't, I don't see those, that word there. So indulge is tricky because we think of indulge as in like, oh, I'm going to indulge in some some chocolate bars or something or a cupcake and, and eat something I'm not supposed to or enjoy something I'm maybe not supposed to. But that kind of does give away the word. We don't think of it in this context, but it's the same meaning, right? If you're indulging, you're allowing some kind of bad impulse to uh, manifest, to kind of get realized. Uh, to Yeah, you're following through. You're doing something bad you're not supposed to. So indulge does fit here. Um, he's indulging the vices. He's he's allowing those bad things to happen, even though he himself is a virtuous good person. So this is, yeah, to, I guess indulge is to, yeah, I don't know, uh, permit, I guess is just the best definition. I'm looking for a better word than that, but um, permit something bad. I guess it needs that extra piece. Uh it doesn't need to be evil, right? If you're indulging in a, in a piece of cake, that's not evil, but it's, it's you know, you know you shouldn't be eating that piece of cake. So there is something to that. So that is the word. Uh, despise um, means to hate. So this is tempting because it seems like, okay, if he's a good guy, shouldn't he hate the bad things other people do? But the, the structure of this sentence is saying that, no, he, he himself has this, this kind of bad thing that he's doing too. So he's allowing these other people to do their bad stuff, right? We are talking about it being a character defect of this guy that he's he's a good guy, but he's allowing other bad, bad things to happen. So he's not despising those vices. He's permitting them. Notice the connotation, right? This is like kind of like a, a positive-ish word, whereas this is negative. Like it's tricky because the connotations are getting a little twisted here. But yeah, um, to moderate, well, to moderate means to kind of like soften or um, level out. So that would be like, okay, these other people around him are really bad and he's like making them less bad. He's moderating them. And, and that, again, is very tempting because if you're like a good person and you're a role model, then maybe other people follow you. But we're just not saying that here. We're, we're saying that really Marcus Aurelius is not doing what he should be doing as a virtuous person. So this doesn't have the same uh, meaning that we need. And D, criticize, again, that's almost like hate. Uh, so this, you know, um, would be, well, you know what criticize means, but I think it relates back to uh, the word despise and that if he's if he's not actually saying that they're bad, then that's the bad thing, right? Is he's just kind of condoning uh, this kind of behavior. So um, I don't know. This is a tricky one. I, I do think there's a little bit of a twisted relationship here. I think there's a real temptation to say that, oh, since he's such a good guy, he's going to be uh, against all the bad things that these other people do. But the, the sentence is more complicated than that. So hopefully uh, you recognize that. Uh, these are all good words to know. You should know them all, but I doubt that that was the reason anyone struggled. I think it was probably much more about understanding the relationship and the logic in the passage.